Hi everyone. Uh, I want to show you how easy it is to do a modal vibration study in SimSolid. Now here's my model. It's a pretty complex uh, crankshaft. You see it has um, some, some interesting face detail. Zooming up, you can see I have a lot of these small sliver surfaces and odd face transitions. And this can cause problems with traditional F FEA mesh generators. Let's, let's see how we do in, in SimSolid. Okay, what I want to do is get to the first couple of vibration modes, and here they are, but as opposed to some of those cooking show demos you see in other products where they just do the setup and then they tell you that uh, they come back and show you the results, let's do it all live. So let me start from um, a blank sim solid, and I'll first go to my cl cloud browser, go to Onshape, pick my uh, crankshaft, open it up. Okay, there's my model. Now, if I want to do modes, just say how many modes do I want and uh, pick go. That's all it takes. Pick default material properties. Um, you know, I didn't have to create a mesh, so it's just take the CAD geometry and analyze it. Now, the default solution settings for SimSolid will run at three adaptive passes. So that's what's doing here. You see it pass one, two, three. And uh, we're done. So we can look at the modes. Uh, there's our first vibration mode. Uh, you can see it's a, a bending mode uh, that way. The second mode's bending out of plane, kind of you'd expect. And the third mode's a torsional mode. Okay, that took us what? Uh, oh, about 17 seconds to do. So let's bookmark that. Uh, close it up. Let's let's run this thing one more time. You know, in, a, in analysis, you always want to know what is the quality of your results. So uh, let's instead of taking that, uh, let's go run it one more and say let's uh, go at detailed solution settings. So try a little bit higher resolution and see if that changes the the solution much. So I do that and I say go. And this time, with our detailed solution settings, it runs for four adaptive passes. But it shows to run pretty quick. Uh, there's our, our results on pass four, and we're done. So I can come back here, look at my modes, uh, and you can see that um, the first mode now is 393. If you remember from the, the, the first analysis, it was about 396. So, you know, it gets a little bit lower as you'd expect, but um, it's pretty close. And that kind of, that tells you that you have, uh, you know, a decently converged model. Okay, so there you go. I ran uh, a pretty complex, you know, crankshaft model, did free vibration, did an analysis two times directly from CAD in under a minute. 